some election results from last night and by and large they are not good i want to highlight two the first is that um in kentucky where a very good candidate i thought daniel cameron running against andy bashir now andy bashir was the incumbent governor and he is a democrat but not far left and he's also a very effective campaigner and uh, he pulled it off 52 to 47 48 and so in a deep red state kentucky you have still a democratic governor now i don't think it's the case that um that daniel cameron was a bad candidate uh but i also think that an important factor in these elections is turning out to be money money because um, you know, the GOP is being outspent in these races. You know, it's one thing. First of all, if I think back to the um, uh, 80s and 90s, the GOP would often be the, the party with more money. And the Democrats would be like, we don't have enough money. It's tough for us to compete. Um, and then that became kind of more uh, evenly balanced. But the Democrats now have taken a huge... Uh, fundraising lead. And for this, I actually blame the RNC because the, it is the job of the RNC to make sure that these important races are properly funded. And it's the job of the RNC to raise the money. And uh, evidently, they aren't doing it. Or if they're raising the money, they're not properly deploying it. And so you've got candidates, and, and sometimes it is a tough race. The other side has a good candidate, as in this case. And uh, so you need to have proper funds to be able to uh, do the campaign ads, to do the get out the vote, to do all the things that, that make a difference in a close election. There have been calls for Rona McDaniel to step down. I don't think she should have been appointed in the first place. And um, But uh, I think this woman is just going to doggedly hang on to her job. And this is very, uh, to me, bad news going into 2024, because that's couldn't be a more critical election coming up next year. And what the RNC has been doing so far does not, I repeat, not inspire confidence. Uh, the second result I want to highlight in Ohio, uh, and I won't talk substantively about it because I think Debbie and I are planning to do that in the next couple of days, is discuss the abortion referendum, a referendum that by and large legalizes abortion for all nine months, for the full term of the pregnancy. Wow and um, doesn't even prohibit late-term abortion. And this goes up in a moderately conservative state. Now, Midwestern states, Debbie and I were talking about this last night, are not right-wing or left-wing. Uh, by and large, they tend to be sort of center-right or center-left. So Michigan, for example, is probably center-leaning blue, leaning left. Ohio is center-leaning right. But Ohio had a heartbeat bill that had been signed by the governor. And yet, a fairly decisive majority of voters strikes that down, eliminates the heartbeat bill, and creates essentially a Roe v. Wade, an abortion right in the state of Ohio. So that cannot be considered a win. It's certainly not a win for the pro-life movement, but I don't think it's a win for Republicans in general. And it raises some interesting questions about abortion going into the 2024 election, which Debbie and I are going to discuss. A uh, brief update on uh, on Police State. Uh, the movie, as I think you know, is now streaming on multiple platforms. I may name three. Rumble. It's streaming on Salem now. It's also streaming on um, Epic TV. And, um, and DVDs are available for sale. Unfortunately, not from Amazon, not from Walmart. They won't let us sell our DVDs. And again, look, I'm not claiming that that's the police state per se. These are big corporations. They're allowed to make these decisions. But the decisions are so arbitrary. They make no sense. There's nothing in the movie that's banned. There's nothing in the movie that's inaccurate. Fact checkers haven't said, oh, this didn't really even happen, Dinesh. Not at all. Everything in the movie is 100% accurate. The movie obviously has a market, so it's not. they're not saying, oh, nobody's going to want to buy your DVDs. On the contrary, they are blocking the sale of our DVDs. Well, look, the best remedy here is to, and we're reaching out to Walmart. We're going to, we're going to try to get them to reverse that decision. But in the meantime, guess what? Buy DVDs where we are 
able to sell them. And that's Salem Now, that's Shopify. So if you go to policestatefilm.net, just click on the tab to buy DVDs and get get your own DVD. But you know what? This is a great way to stock up for Christmas presents. And this is about the right time to do it. So go ahead and order a bunch of DVDs for family members or for friends. They'll be grateful you did. Because sometimes there are guys, I find they're fans of mine, and yet somehow they're inert. They just don't take action themselves. They're like, it's almost like they want the movie to like pop up on their TV screen. So you can make it easier for them by delivering them a DVD and going, hey, here's the film you kind of wanted to be watching anyway. I'm making it easy for you. Watch it. Debbie and I started taking Relief Factor a couple of years ago, and what a difference we've seen in our joints. Nothing short of amazing. Aches and pains are totally gone thanks to this 100% drug-free solution called Relief Factor. It's a natural way to fight pain. Relief Factor is a daily supplement. It helps your body fight back against pain. It's 100% drug-free. Relief Factor was developed by doctors searching for a better alternative for pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients like turmeric and omega-3s to help reduce or eliminate the everyday aches and pains you are experiencing. Whether it's neck, back, joint, or muscle pain, Relief Factor can help you feel better. Unlike pills that simply mask your pain for a short time, Relief Factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation so you feel better all day, every day. See how Relief Factor can help you with their three-week quick start kit. It's only $19.95. It comes with Relief Factor's Feel better or your money back guarantee. So why not give it a try? Visit relieffactor.com or call 800 for relief. Again, the number 800 for relief or go to relieffactor.com. When you feel the difference, you know it works. <laughs> 